Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. In our last video, I was exceptionally cruel, I think, leaving you hanging at a very critical story choice moment of Priority Rannoch, but uh, to be honest, I didn't have any other choice because I had to actually leave my house <laughs> within a few minutes of ending the last video. So we are back to where I left you. Legion says that he regrets the death of the creators, but he sees no alternative and he's at 40% the upload because I did tell Legion to do the Reaper upload code. So my goal in all of this, again, was to have the Corians and the guests survive and to hopefully work together and to have as few of my friends die as possible. So I'm not sure <laughs> what which is the best choice, but I want to rally the fleet. Maybe if I, and I'm thinking rally, like inspire them rally, will like get them to like hold a beat and maybe we'll be okay. But let's see what happens. No. Nobody else dies today. Legion, keep going. Shepard? All ships, this is Commander Shepard. The Reaper is dead. Stand down. This is Admiral Tully Zora. Shepard speaks with my authority. And mine as well. Negative. We can win this war now. Keep firing. 60%. The Geth are about to return to full strength. If you keep attacking, they'll wipe you out. Your entire history is you trying to kill the Geth. You forced them to rebel. You forced them to ally with the Reapers. 80%. The Geth don't want to fight you. If you can believe that for just one minute, this war will be over. You have a choice. Please, kill us a lie. All units, hold fire. Error. Copying code is insufficient. Direct personality dissemination required. Shepard Commander, I must go to them. I'm... I'm sorry. It's the only way. Legion, the answer to your question was yes. I know, Tally. But thank you. Kill us and I. Admiral Ron, I heard your ship made a crash landing. Glad you got out in one piece. I was listening over the radio. If Han Girl hadn't stopped... He did. We have taken heavy losses. I don't know if we can. Where are we supposed to go? You are welcome to return to Rannoch Admiral Ron with us. Legion? No, I'm sorry, Commander. Legion sacrificed itself to give us all intelligence. It will be honored. Good. And we will honor Legion's promise. The Geth fleet will help you retake Earth, and our engineers will assist in building the Crucible. As will ours, of course. Admiral, had you considered possible settlement sites? We... The southern continent had excellent farmland. As I recall. Are you gonna be okay? I believe so, Commander. Thank you. Shopping for another house? Beachfront property. <laughs> Claim it fast. It's a buyer's market. <sighs> You okay? I know working with the Geth will be difficult. I'm not staying. I'm coming with you. Really? That's good. I'm... I'm really upset Legion's gone. Why do all my favorites have to go? Like, I love Legion, I love Morden. Oh my gosh, is Garrus gonna die? Because I don't think I can handle that. I think, I think, well no, I wouldn't quit the game, but I'd be like, I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's not why I came, you sure? 
Yeah, are you sure you want to do that? I mean, I get it if you want to stay in... <laughs> I don't know, rebuild Rannoch until the Reapers come in full force, but I'd, I'd rather her come with us, to be honest. I need some emotional support, because Legion is gone. Another person, but you sure? I thought your people needed you. What do I know about negotiating with AIs? <laughs> you and Edie seem to get along. My people need me out there. Sooner or later, the Reapers will come for Rannoch. We did just kill one of them. So I'm coming with you to stop them. Okay. If you think I can help. Yeah, if you're sure this is what you want to do, I'm happy to have you. You sure about this? Yeah. I look at all this. This picture of hope and peace. And all I see is everyone I've lost. My team on Hastrum, my father, even Legion. I'm mourning a geth. How crazy is that? It's not crazy at all. It is beautiful, though, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it is. It'll be years before we can live without our suits completely. But right now... Right now, I have this. Commander Shepard, I understand you are bringing a new fleet into this war. Yes, Counselor. Two, in fact. I've read the reports. I can't believe you convinced both sides to stand down. I had a lot of help. We're still facing isolated pockets of Geth. They appear to be Geth bodies loaded with Reaper code. But they're a minor threat relative to the full Geth fleet. Regardless, Commander, you've given us the first reason to hope in this war. Speaking of which, I have information for you vital to the war effort. I'd prefer to share it in person. What if I come to the Citadel? That would be preferable, Commander. Meet me in Counselor Odina's office. Oh dear. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. That was that was a really that was a really good quest. That was that was really good. That was like I don't know if it's as good as the Krogan quest, but they're both good in their own way, because I really, really liked the, um... Sorry, I'm still really choked up over Legion. I really have liked the geth Corian storyline throughout all of the series, so... Anyway, um... Okay, let's look at my quest log, because Priority Rannoch should be completed somewhere in here. Priority Citadel, I don't even know where it's at. And you know what? It's probably not that big a deal. Oh, look, Priority Rannoch, it is done. And now we have Priority the Citadel. Am I going to go back to the Citadel? And <laughs> like, Cerberus is going to be back. Is this lady also working for Cerberus? Is that what's happening? But anyway, the Asari counselor wishes to talk privately about a matter pertaining to the war effort. Meet her at the Citadel. Do you, Is the Asari going to like actually help now? Because that'd be nice. Ooh, the Reaper War. What? What's my latest update? The Battle of Rannoch. Okay, the Corian's plan to take back their homeworld was risky. <laughs> it could easily have led to the annihilation if a peaceful solution had not been found. Yeah, I feel like... They, I still feel like attacking them was a bad idea, but... It's, what's done is done, right? In initial battle against the Reaper upgraded Geth ships, the Corians found their heavy fleet and a portion of their of the patrol fleet outmatched. To stave off defeat, the Corians retreated at FTL speeds to rally with the civilian fleet on the far side of Rannoch's sun, Takoon. Temporarily hidden, but with only minutes of advance warning should a Geth scout spot them, the Corians planned counterattacks to disrupt the Geth link with the Reapers. First preying on a damaged Geth dreadnought, the Corians followed by sending strike teams to Rannoch's surface to destroy the Reaper that was transmitting improved software to Geth forces. I still feel like they would have been better to, you know, take over the Geth Dreadnought. That would have been a very useful tool instead of just blowing it up. But maybe it was just, it was probably just easier. But anyway, when the Reaper uplink was disrupted, the Geth suffered momentary downgrades in response time and intelligence, allowing the Corians to press their advantage, but an emergency order from Commander Shepard and Admiral Shalaran 
Thus, Tan Bay broke off hostilities before the Geth's full capabilities were restored. It is to the Koreans' credit that all three fleets obeyed the order to cease fire, even the civilian fleet, which had little combat experience. The Geth, for their part, bore no ill will towards, towards enemy combatants and broke off hostilities with perfect discipline. It remains to be seen how the Geth and the Koreans will manage to coexist on Rannoch for now. They have committed their considerable military forces to repel the Reapers. Given the long-lasting animosity between the Geth and Koreans, it is possible that the Reapers did not plan for the possibility of such an alliance and will be unprepared to contend with both armadas. Yeah, I just feel like the more <laughs> the more armies we have, the better, right? And okay, so let me save after all that. And somebody was on the vidcom. Hack it, right? Commander, something on your mind? Galactic readiness? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? Given the situation everywhere else, as close as we can be, you've done well, Shepard. Okay, al allied forces? What about the extra help we've picked up along the way? Bringing in both the Quarians and the Geth has helped us immeasurably. Great. The Quarian fleet is providing evac and fire support while the Geth attack Reaper supply lines. Well, let's see, the Rachni? What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. Yeah. No problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. I feel like I've had some of these before, but I want to go through them again because I want to, okay? <laughs> what about the Turians and Krogan? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnog Rex running the show is a bonus for us. Yeah. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that mom and Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support as it is. We picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. And they've been doing good on Palavin. So, Asari and Salarians. How about the Asari and Salarians? Since the coup attempt, the Asari have stepped up to the plate. They're committing fleets and sending a science team to work on the Crucible. Salarians? And the Salarians? They sent the entire fleet as a thank you for rescuing their counselor. <laughs> Plus, she seems to like you for getting her that job that got us the STG task force. I guess they managed to overlook the genophage cure. And then Arya's reinforcements. I feel like that's new. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful and violent. Mostly Vorchai I hear. We'll put the blue suns to good use. Intel says Narnir Vosk is bringing his men and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, <laughs> but whatever you did, it was worth it. That wasn't new. Uh, Reaper progress. What's the Reaper situation? It's not trending well, even if you did buy Rannoch some time. Our threat projections show the Reapers will gain the advantage on most other fronts. And now the Asari are a prime target. Oh. They're the most advanced race in the galaxy. We'll soon find out if that means anything. Uh, I think when you have the big, big daddy reapers laying on their planets, it probably doesn't mean much of anything at all. Uh, why pick me? Should not be anything new, but let's just check. If I may, Admiral, I have a personal question. Speak freely, Commander. Why me? Why put me in charge of all this? Because you're the only soldier in this whole damn navy who knows how to kill reapers. Well, I have had practice. <laughs> I admit I've had some practice, even success, but does that qualify me for this? Your dossier says it does, Commander. I'm well aware of your actions on Torfin all those years ago, wiping out the Batarian prisoners. It came with a cost and ruffled a lot of feathers, but you made the tough call and got the job done. And that was enough? And because of that, you think I qualify to save the galaxy? Shepard, let me tell you something that I've learned the hard way. You can pay a soldier to fire a gun. You can pay him to charge the enemy and take a hill. But you can't pay him to believe. I don't follow, sir. When you went up against Sovereign, there was no good reason to believe you'd win. But your crew didn't seem to care. They went along anyway. Your trip through the Omega-4 relay? That was a suicide mission, if there ever was one. Yeah. Yet there your crew was, standing beside you, proud to serve. Why? 
Because they believed in you, their leader. That's what I need now. Where we're taking them is liable to get pretty hairy, and I know you're the one who will get us to the other side. I don't know if that was... I, I don't think that was new, and if it if it wasn't, sorry, but, like, it's it, it sounds new to me. <laughs> but anyway, okay, bye. Nothing more, sir. Hack it out. Okay, well, now we're going to wander around the ship and talk to people. Master and Commander deliver most of the galaxy at war assets something, something, something. Let's see what my war terminal looks like. Wow, wowzy. <laughs> That's crazy. Look at that. It's almost all the way full. So Geth, what do I have? Geth core. Until recently, the Geth expected nothing but violence from organics and designed themselves accordingly. All Geth platforms are armed, shielded, and built to withstand combat. When they're on the battlefield, enemy tactics and positions are swapped instantly between the AIs. The Geth also employ turrets and drones, expendable hardware support to keep losses of, of network platforms to a minimum. The result is the largest and perhaps best equipped infantry in the galaxy. Ooh, the Geth fleet. Many Geth vessels are built to explore, mine, or provide transport between factories and space stations, but every Geth ship, regardless of purpose, is also capable of engaging hostile forces. Unbound by the Treaty of Phyrixin, the synthetic intelligences builds almost as many dreadnoughts as the Turians. The software running these ships is in the Geth themselves. Highly advanced electronic security measures and cyber warfare suites bolster already formidable firepower. Updated rewriting the Geth heretics significantly boosted the processing power of the true Geth. Their increased strength made their fleets both more efficient and more lethal in battle. Oh, so that was the effect from Mass Effect 2. <laughs> was that they're just better? I mean, it's fine, but like, I'm really disappointed that that decision didn't play more into the Corian and Geth war and with the Reaper involvement and everything. I just... It's fine. Okay, Corian civilian fleet makes up most of the Corian flotilla. Properly coordinated, the fleet compensates for its lack of dedicated warships with its sheer numbers. Even its smallest crafts are equipped with ship-to-ship -ship weaponry. These civilian live ships, enormous floating gardens that produce food for the Corians, have also been fitted with massive Thanix cannons to provide heavy firepower. Rewriting the Geth heretics significantly boosted the processing power of the true Geth. Their increased strength made their fleet made their fleets both more efficient. What does that have to do with Corians, though? That's weird. I guess we're doing patrol fleet first. <laughs> the patrol fleet are scouts flying ahead of the flotilla on the lookout for mineable bodies and hostile forces. They scan space with VI systems that pick up heat signatures or other signs of foreign vessels. As the first ships to be targeted in any conflict, some of the Corian's finest engineers monitor and repair the patrol's fleets. Shielding the fleet's commanding officer, Admiral Shalaran, relies on speed and shields during combat. During combat, And then I get this update about that. This Again, this update about the get. That's the right word. And then Corian Heavy Fleet. Any pirates or mercenaries attempting to prey on the Corian flotilla must contend with the Heavy Fleet's cruisers, frigates, fighters, and carriers. The Heavy Fleet is led by Admiral Han Garrel, or Loghain, from Dragon Age. I finally, I finally made the, I feel like you guys told me this. Um, I'm just, I'm now remembering and acknowledging it. Sorry, I'm, I'm slow. The Admiral finally, firmly rather, believes in the importance of ship maintenance and regular training courses and actively encourages those on pilgrimage to seek out technology that will upgrade his fleet's capabilities. As a result, cutting edge, cutting edge technology is often found in the best of the heavy fleet's vessels. The fleet sustained damage to several dozen frigates that were unable to repair themselves in time to avoid destruction during the Rana during the war for Rannoch, and then the Geth Heretics update. Okay. Okay. Now where is everybody located? Where did Oh Tally's back down to engineering? Oh, that's nice. That's good. Because I was hoping we'd get some sort of interaction with the her with the other engineers. Because she was with Adam in Mass Effect 1, and Donnelly and Daniels in 2. And now she's with all three of them in 3. Oh. We just took down a Reaper without a giant Thresher Ma helping. Damn right. We just showed the galaxy we could beat them. Yeah, and again, one at a time. And I feel like it was... <laughs> I don't want to go back down on every planet and manually aim. <laughs> that was... That was not fun. Commander. 
There's a new message at your private terminal. Okay. I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. Uh huh. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. It's hard being in a fight like that, especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first, I was nauseous, <laughs> swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious, just uh, enraged. I wanted that thing dead. Right? You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. <laughs> Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. I mean, explosions are good, right? Commander. I mean, in, in war. Wow, I've found work to do? From Talizor, Shepard, just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be... I'm going to join Adams in Engineering. It seems like the best place for me to help. As long as I'm coming with you anyway. Please drop by when you have a minute, Tally. Aw. Ragra support from Shalaran Vasranak. Oh, Commander, with assistance from the Geth, our fleet is nearly back to full strength. We have focused most of our efforts on providing evacuation assistance and support for the Turian fleet, while the Geth harass the Reapers. Even with our newfound peace, it seemed foolish to risk the incident by putting our forces in closer proximity. I understand from Admiral Zen that the Crucible project continues well, though Zen herself seems dissatisfied with the technological capabilities of the device. Of course she does. Of course she does. <laughs> though eccentric, she is also brilliant. Hopefully she will find some way to improve its functionality. I would never have believed you would talk hand down, Commander. Take care of Talizora for me. Kila Salai, Admiral Shalaran Vasranak. Oh. Let's talk Quarian War. It may be hard to believe after what we just went through, but the rest of the galaxy is barely aware the Quarians ever went into the Vale, let alone started a war with the Geth. I feel like they would, I feel like the rest of the galaxy would be like, but why of all times now? I feel like if you could help us fight the Reapers instead of fighting, you know, robots who are still going to be there later. I feel like the rest of the galaxy might not appreciate that. And anyway, we're sitting on a major piece of history here. I, I have material from all the players except you. Can I get into your cabin for an hour and get your thoughts on Vich? Sure. Reporting in, Lee Riley. Commander, my squad continues to defend the fuel reactor on... Cyrone, the Reapers seem intent on taking it down, not on my watch. We will hold the line, Captain Lee Riley. Good job. Good job, everybody. These are not awful updates. But Legion's not here. I miss Legion. I feel like we had him for like a second. But it was such a good character. I liked it a lot. I don't know. You may disagree with me, but I really, I really liked Legion's character. Gotta hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. Yeah, I couldn't kill all the Geth. After seeing what the Geth Rebellion really looked like, I figured they deserved a chance. Thank you, Commander. I doubt many organics would have trusted a synthetic race. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion. Yeah. Before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah? So? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Geth Consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to... him. Yep, we will. Commander? It's on your mind, Edie. I was just reflecting. The Quarians' historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth turned on the Quarians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory but it is limited to a sample size of one society. The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor, don't ask them. Yeah, let's not ask. It seems like they have different personalities because the Reaper on Rannoch referred to um, 
a harbinger, I almost forgot his name, as a different entity, not as part of the whole. So, you know. Hello, Shepard. That's, that's, there's my thoughts. Okay, let's, let's start talking to some people and hopefully it's less sad than the last conversation with Joe Gurnetti, because Legion. Oh. Go to the crew deck. Maybe Garrus will have updates about his family. Oh look, Legion made the wall. That's... I mean, not yay that he made the wall, but like, yay that he made the wall, but because everybody considered him part of the team and someone to lose. Sorry, I'm sad that my robot friend is gone. Because he was still my friend, dang it. Imagine if my robot dog died. That would be like, earth shattering. Nobody, nobody. I know there's nobody, but I'm just gonna check anyway. Hi, Ashley. Impressed you got those two groups together. We'll see how long the peace lasts. Be positive a little, Ashley. Commander. Commander. I mean, I like you, but you're constantly giving me a hard time. I get it. I do. It will be interesting to see how long it lasts, but can we talk about that? I don't know. Not right after we just... Anyway... Dr. Chakwas. Just reviewing some charts. Just, re Just reviewing. reviewing some charts. Okay. Garrus will have something nice to say, right? Right? It's possible. Peace between the Geth and Corians. Who would have thought? Not how I ever imagined that would turn out. And next you'll be telling me the Krogan and Turians are cooperating. <laughs> oh, right. You managed that one, too. <laughs> You're a peacemaker, Shepard. A rare thing these days. Now, if you can pacify the Reapers, we'll make you a saint. <laughs> Probably not gonna happen. Not sure if having an army of Geth behind us gives me confidence or makes me feel like there's a target on my back. It'll be okay. They seem... I don't know. I don't know how they seem. Not right now. No. Not right now. Okay. At least I didn't immediately go into another nightmare sequence where I could hear Shepard Commander calling to me. That would have another been awful. Another Reaper gone. And peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's amazing. And now my people have a world to fight for. Something they know will last forever. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. <laughs> They're not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? Friends? There's still too many wounds on either side. But maybe one day. Email from Sergeant Kavanaugh to Sergeant Itchy. Next time you want to warn me that the Geth are our friends and that maybe we're not supposed to shoot the big robots, I almost pissed myself when these primes started dropping out of the sky and mopping up the Reapers. We fired a few rounds at them until we realized they weren't firing back. Then this one comes over and said they're allied assistants and asked for our status. I'm not complaining. They saved my crew, but I'm never living down having to apologize to a Geth for shooting one of its damn lights off. <laughs> oh. The migrant fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. Mm hmm. It's good to see you. I, I mean, like. It's good to see you. Yeah, like you're telling. You're, it's fine. You're staying the obvious, but it's okay. Greetings, Commander. Greetings, Glyph. I miss Legion. I miss Morden. I miss my friends. Okay, let's poke our head in here and see what she has to say. Hmm, nothing? I know she wants to talk to me in my cabin, but... Check on Tally. Kenneth, you comment on every woman's figure but mine. Well, I... What? You don't like my legs? Gabby, it's you. You know? No, chicken shit, I don't know. All you do is make stupid sexist comments to avoid saying anything real. Kind of. Gabby, now's not the time. We've got work to do. Responsibilities. Ah, grow a pair, Ken. Look around you. Tomorrow may not come. Something to say, 
or no? Gabby, please. We have a duty to the ship and the crew. What about us? Just... <sighs> listen to yourself. Kenneth, you comment on every... We're not fighting this war for ourselves, Donnelly. We're fighting for the people close to us. Time is short. I see your point, Commander. Gabby, I think your legs are spectacular. <laughs> well, that's a start. <laughs> I mean, it's... Okay. <laughs> Shepard? Nothing to report. <laughs> Finally! Like, something. I, I, I'm hoping this actually turns into something. Nothing to report, Commander. Okay. Hi, Tally. How's it going? Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I don't know anything about raising crops. <laughs> How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That's awesome. See, I think they want to be your friends. How can they do that? That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. It is amazing. It's, it's I don't know how realistic it is, but it, we're in a video game, so we'll just go with it. But it's amazing. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore. It doesn't seem possible, but yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. Welcome. I'm... Yay, I'm getting I'm getting one of my wishes. <laughs> I can't believe my people are working with the Geth. The Geth are helping us rebuild. I never thought I'd see it. Our scientists and the Geth have done amazing work on the Crucible together. Hey Shepard. Hey Shepard. Okay, that's another one done. Let's go check on Javik. gonna have something he really hates he really hates robots so you know he's gonna have all sorts of nice things to say to me <laughs> another reaper has died yes you are proving that humans are capable soldiers but i question this peace you have brokered no such thing is possible between machines and organics i would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation of course you would have and these quarians let's just hope they are reliable allies it is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks well, you know, I, I, you haven't exactly provided any options, Javik, besides complaining. So, you know. <laughs> the only conflict you should concern yourself with is ending the one with the Reapers. Diplomacy does not win wars. Powerful and plentiful firearms do. Yes, but with diplomacy, you could get powerful and plentiful firearms. I mean, I like Javik, but he's kind of a nudge, right? Commander. Commander. Constantly nudging you and pick, pick, picking at you and... You know, just never happy, <laughs> always grumpy. This is why you have no friends, Javik. I say it all the time, but like, I feel like you constantly need to be reminded. Is everything okay, Shepard? Uh, you know. Ma'am. Hi, puppy. I'm glad you're okay. You won't leave me, will you? Can we have pets? Stay. I wish I could say, like, sit, and he would sit. That would be so <laughs> cute. 
I can't believe you got the Geth and Quarians to play nice. Right? You should get a medal for that alone. <laughs> it looks like we just need to get the Asari on board. And we can finally focus on the Reapers. But I don't suppose it'll be as easy as all that. Probably not. Nothing ever is. One step at a time, I guess. I, I feel like that's coming. Like the Asari part of it. 300 years it took to take back the Quarian homeworld. I sure as hell hope it doesn't take that long for us. Me too. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. I still can't believe you went inside a Geth. I, I don't even... <laughs> loco. Completely loco. <laughs> hey. Hey. Okay. Let's go to our cabin and talk to Diana Allers. And then I want to have a peek at the galaxy map because in theory, in theory, right, I should have some new systems to look at, maybe. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I look so serious. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies? And no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? Uh, the Geth are misunderstood, maybe? Trust me, <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> what you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? Oh yeah, the Geth have been upgraded. I don't feel like that's going to be a comforting thought, but maybe? The Geth are extremely intelligent and they've put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I'd bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. I could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. Desperate measures. What else? What else? What else? Geth core. Okay, well, let's look at my codex update first. Desperate measures. Faced with utter annihilation, military planners have considered extreme solutions in their quest to stop the Reapers. The two most plausible are the destruction of mass relays and the use of starships as suicide weapons. Destroying a mass relay to stop the Reapers advance is infeasible, although it has recently been proven that mass relays can be destroyed. A ruptured relay liberates enough energy to ruin any terrestrial world in the relay solar system. I, I would prefer not to have to do that again, please. It would take too long to evacuate the millions or billions of people living near each relay, and the council is unwilling to sacrifice that many lives when combat stands a chance of saving them. Even if a garden world were to survive the relay's destruction, the Reapers have infinite patience. They traveled out of dark space using conventional FTL travel within the galaxy is not an insurmountable barrier. Yeah, it's not. Meanwhile, starships are too costly to be used as projectiles, given that it would take many collisions to seriously harm a Reaper. Some armchair admirals suggest that a single starship traveling faster than light could obliterate a Reaper capital ship, but all ships based on Mass Effect technology possess hardwired safety features to prevent FTL collisions. If a ship's FTL plotter finds a significant object in the path of a planned jump, the FTL dri drive refuses to fire in the first place. This is not a perfect safety feature. The sensors can only scan for objects within a reasonable distance at a light speed, and a navigator must plot the rest of the course. But it is so inherent to the FTL warm-up process that removing it is nigh impossible. Cynical intelligence analysts note that the secret of the Mass Effect technology, including that safety system, has always been attributed to the Protheans, just as the mass relays were. 
So there's lots of words. I was kind of listening. <laughs> I mean, I was reading it and only kind of listening. I know. So Geth Core was updated. Well, let's go check out that war asset. And then we'll go look at the galaxy map. I should have enough time to take a peek and at least see what's new. And I... Hi. I realized there is a uh, system that I haven't gone to that I thought I had and it just wasn't registering as scanned. I think Horsehead Nebula. I don't know why I haven't gone there yet. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> but I thought I had. Okay, Geth, Geth Core. Updated. Commander Shepard's interview with Diana All Allers about the Geth emphasized their value as strong military allies. The council reluctantly sent the Geth shipments of rare materials to upgrade ground units. Great. Excellent. Okay. Just want to peek. Just want to peek. Okay, more than a peek. I've got enough time to take more than a peek. Because I might want to... Commander Shepard. Explore slash scan one system before we go back to the Citadel because it's a priority mission, so I'm assuming... Assuming it's going to be a thing. Okay, there's Ranek. Let's leave the orbit. Let's go to the mass relay and see what we can see. Okay, Hades Nexus is new. Caliston Rift is new. This one here is still not there. Still have one there. Ismar, Minos. Hmm. Minos Basin, I've been there. Horsehead Nebula, I, I feel like I, I had to like search my videos. I've not been here, so I need to go and do that at some point. Um, Arcturus, Exodus, Kite's Nest. Ninma Cluster, Caliston Rift, Hades Nexus, Perseus Veil. Vale. I feel like I have a quest in Hades. Yes, I have two quests in Hades Nexus. So maybe we go do Hades Nexus first. I know I don't have much time left today, but I feel like we can at least get there and start it and then finish it tomorrow and then maybe go start the Citadel priority mission just to kind of break up some of the, yeah, there's one here that's still not up yet. Break up some of the scanning exploration. Cause I want to try and avoid like six days of, <laughs> in a row of uh, scanning. Oh, oh my goodness, so much stuff. Yeah, let's go to Hopeless first. I probably should have gone to the farthest one away, but too late now. Oh look, there's a little moon right there. A rock with all traces of atmosphere burned away. Talaria orbits the star Hoplos at a blistering pace every 36 days. Though tidally locked, even its twilight belt and shaded side are too barren to support life. With so many resources on its sister planet Trident, Talaria has largely been ignored by the galactic surveying community. Your sister one, Trident. Well, where's Trident? We want to scan that one. No offense. <laughs> Makaria's largest moon, Copus, is a desolate place with an extremely thin atmosphere. Its crust is largely silica-based and there are no signs of water. Like its parent planet, its high albedo keeps it from being a total inferno. And when occluded by Makaria, its temperatures can be nearly tolerable. Its low gravity can easily be countered by a vehicular or a personal mass effect field for comfortable exploration. This is Makaria. Where was the one that this one was talking about? It must be here. A small rock planet, Makaria's thin atmosphere and high albedo keep it from being much hotter than it is. The crust is high in sodium oxide, giving the planet a whitish tinge. It is whitish. There's Trident. That's the one that I need to scan. A human-dominated world with over 95% of its surface covered by salt water, Trident is home to a dazzling array of life. The oceans are filled with creatures ranging from tiny bivalves to mammoth vertebrates, unequaled even by Earth's whales and ichthyosaurs. 
small archipelagos create what little land there is and is val and its valuable real estate is fought over constantly. Underwater extraction operations have recovered a number of valuable minerals from the ocean floors, including iridium, uranium, and dust from dust form element zero. A largely lawless world, Trident is home to a rogues gallery of unethical corporations exploiting the resources of the planet and actual rogues, criminal slavers, and mercenaries working from the shadows. Travel advisory. Due to extreme weather conditions, all traffic to the surface is grounded. Trident spaceport control predicts this condition will persist until the end of hurricane season. No, no, no reapers have landed there yet either? But that one seems extremely valuable to scan. I love the rings. It's so pretty. A hydrogen helium gas giant, Aegis was the site of an unparalleled cosmic event roughly 1.8 million years ago. An extrasolar body about 200 square kilometers in size was drawn into Aegis's gravity well and struck the Jovian planet, blasting enough dust and material into orbit to create a ring. An urban legend has grown over this event. The story goes that if the extrasolar body usually called a comet, was unaffected by the gravity well of Aegis, it would have coincided with an orbit of Trident and created an extinction level event on that planet. Prevailing scientific opinion holds that this is an exaggeration at best. Okay, well, I am going to pause here for today. So in tomorrow's video, I do want to finish scanning Hades Nexus, that might be the cluster, and then get started on this Citadel, Citadel Cerberus Cypher, Cyphers, no, Citadel, where is it? Priority the Citadel, that's the one I'm looking for. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because I still have this DLC. I need to do that at some point. Maybe after Priority Citadel, if there's a, if there's a break, maybe I'll do it then, but it's not going anywhere, so I may have a minute to do it. But anyway, I will I will worry about that later as usual. <laughs> so as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Mass Effect 3 video.